Hey everyone, and welcome back to Shadyside Library. Wow, my watch goes off right at the intro, but we're just gonna keep rolling. Anyways, today is the day, and I'll admit, I am very, very nervous. I should be excited because I pre-ordered and I got my Kindle color soft. Dream come true, but is it? I don't know. We're about to find out because I pre-ordered but didn't get delivered until November 1st and it came in like really late and so, and I kind of wanted to open it on camera, but I, I had time to watch a lot of videos and kind of watch the reviews just trickle in on Amazon and uh, last night I checked and the Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition, the new one, has 4.4 stars I believe, out of 5 obviously. The Kindle Colorsoft has 2.8 stars out of 5. People don't like it. People don't like the the film on the front and how it, you know, it doesn't get as bright as the paper white and it's not as clear. There's clarity issues, there's brightness issues, there's haziness and I don't know, it I was so excited. Now I am literally terrified to open this because I'm not sure I'm gonna like it. I don't know, I'm sensitive to those things, but let's get over that and dive into it and see what I think. I'm gonna literally open it up and uh, give you all my initial thoughts and I'm gonna be brutally honest. Here it is. Welcome to a new world of color. Kindle Color Soft. All right, um, it looks like as far as in the box, you just get the device, you get the little manual, and then you get your USB-C charger. And that's it, it's very simple. So we won't be needing the manual or any of that. And I will also mention, uh, when I pre-ordered, they had a deal going where you could get a case, the Kindle Color Soft, and oh yeah, the wireless charging. So I got the bundle and saved quite a bit of money. So I actually have a case for it already, and I that's that's a necessity for me because I don't know. I'm just too scared to you know, ruin it. <laughs> uh, I'm not clumsy or anything. I'm, I don't like drop all my things, but I just, ugh, I'm terrified of, you know, nicking it or something. I'm, I'm a perfectionist and it would bug me if I, uh, you know, put a nick in it or something. Okay. Let's, uh, let's open it up. Here it is. Okay. I'll be honest. I don't have a Kindle Paperwhite. I have an Oasis, a scribe, and I've, I've recently acquired something else uh, that I haven't talked about yet, but uh, I did get a kid's Kindle. Anyways, this is bigger than I thought, and that's good because I am going to be reading graphic novels on it. I mean, that's the plan. Uh, yep, I'm gonna go through the initial setup process and get back to you guys in a sec. Okay, I decided while it's updating, I am going to open up this case. So this is the case that Amazon makes for it. It is the plant-based leather cover. And I believe there is one notch above this one. It's like some premium leather, but this is like the most popular one. It's got the magnetic folding cover. Here it is. 
first impression, honestly, this is, this is really nice. I like the leather. All right, that was very simple. Here it is in the case. And yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie, the color looks <laughs> dang good. I feel like if if nobody told me about the haziness of it, I wouldn't be seeing it right now, but every video I watch, people have their paper white and they're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's a little blurry. And so it's definitely fast. And I finally made it to my home screen and the colors, they look good. This is, this is cool. Look at that. Don't judge my books. Okay. Come on. My, com well, not complaint. My worry was that, you know, these graphic novels in comics were going to be difficult to read. And they kind of are just because the text is really small. And, you know, this graphic novel is, you know, really big in physical form. And this is only a seven inch e-reader. So I saw in some reviews that you can double click the like squares. Yeah, so you can double click on the image and scroll through. Yeah, okay. So that one has some words on it. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's pleasant to read. Like that, that comes in very clear. You know, like people said, you can just see that general film over the, the whole screen. And, you know, that, that's just what you sacrifice whenever you go for the color. I'm going to get out the closest thing I have to the uh, color stuff. I don't know, I guess just the newest thing. I, I will say, the text is more clear and that's just because it doesn't have that film across it. Here's the Kindle Kids. I've got the brightness on 20. And then here's the color soft. I also have the brightness on 20. The, the warmth is on five. I, I guess I'll take that down. All right, warmth is now zero. Both of them are at 20. Let's see the difference. Okay, let me see if I can hold both these up in frame. All right. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. I definitely can. So the color soft is, it's almost like a gray. Whereas the regular Kindle is white. I mean, the background is, is white, you know, and the color soft, the background is kind of like grayish. I don't know. I love the speed and everything, but the film is is a little tough. Okay, I guess, you know, I could keep rambling, but I think I need to spend some time with this device and, you know, get back to you guys on what I think of it after actually reading on it. But initial thoughts, I like everything except for that film. And ultimately, I'm, I'm just going to have to decide if it's worth the sacrifice. In the comments below, please let me know if you guys opted for the color soft or if you went with the paper white or if you just, you know, are sticking with whatever you currently have or maybe you're going Kobo. I don't know. Uh, let me know your thoughts and... Yeah, I'm interested to see what other people have to say because, you know, as far as the reviews on Amazon go, people don't like it. 
So, yeah. Keep an eye out for future videos, and uh, thanks for watching. Peace.